guys in a wonderful, beautiful, good morning. Sending kisses and love out of uh, Fuerteventura for you guys. At the moment, as you see, not as the best weather that uh, we normally have here on the islands. But today, finally, it's again a fishing day for the fishing brigade in home territory. And we're gonna go to two different types of spots. The only sweet water spot that we have on the island, we're gonna give it a try to see by any chance we can get some uh, some nice fishes. I'm not gonna tell you now what kind of because I'm not sure if our project worked out but as soon as we are gonna arrive there I'm gonna explain you a little bit more the detail and uh, we're gonna see if by any chance we are lucky to get something here. Gonna pick up now a friend and we're gonna hit down the road. We're gonna go to the west coast today of the island. Fishing there a little bit from the stones like sort of rock fishing in the shore and let's see because weather conditions not perfect but we give our best and see what we can do and I'm very happy to be back and the first time for you and first episode from Fuerteventura. Okay hitting the road now to our uh, friends picking him up to the west coast and on the way to the uh, west coast to the spot on the on the ocean uh, we're gonna take you to a small little secret spot which not that many people actually know or I think that not actually nobody been fishing so far there because there's respectable to not be fishes in there but we still gonna give it a go and gonna give it a try and we see what we can do and I would be really 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 happy if I could uh, get enough footage as well that we catch one fish at least there and uh, I'm gonna explain you later as well the meaning of why it would be so important and it would be a special fish for us here on the island because my maybe as you guys don't know is that uh, Fuerteventura is one of the driest islands of the Canary Islands and we actually don't have like sweet water resources here we don't have lakes we don't have ponds we don't have uh, creeks we don't have anything but yes there is one spot one opportunity that we have and we started over a year ago a project so this is what we are trying to do at the moment to see if by any chance our project that we started a year ago might maybe worked out so this is why it's going to be so exciting for us today to see if this worked it out and the fishes reproduce themselves inside there so now marcus my friend is coming also with sort of a little bit of equipment with him today so yes let's see what we can do here we go epic moment okay uh, black basses from the Presa de las Niñas in Gran Canaria releasing it in the Presa de los Molinos in Fuerteventura for seeing if we are able to rip that they reproduce in here so we can go fishing the next time as well in here okay okay they are strong So we have five black basses in here. Presa de los Molinos, 1st of December 2017. Yes, man. Let's see what future brings. Maybe soon we can fish here. Okay guys, as you see, we finally arrived our destination. Ladies and gentlemen, can I present you the only sweet water lake or sweet water reservoir in Fuerteventura, which is down here. here as you see on the wall here, that the water level this year, or in particular, let's say 2018, went down quite a lot because we didn't have a lot of rain, but still, yeah. It's quite okay and it's constant water as we see today as well we have all those birdies here. And it goes down the corner there till there to the end. I mean it's nothing spectacular but for you guys to understand is um, 
2000, the beginning of 2018, we went to Gran Canaria, our neighbor island, where do they have some more sweet water lakes like that. We went over, we went fishing for black basses, uh, big mouth black bass and smallies. We decided to start a project. Since we have this water behind me here, during the whole year it has water, uh, for the last 25 years, uh, we said we give it a go and we try to catch some basses in Gran Canaria, bring them over in a construction in our car with a sort of aquarium. We had like a big cooling box with like air pumps and all that and we brought them over and we released I think five or six in total over a year ago. Now we are back here in the same spot to see by any chance they reproduced and we do have some possibility now here for the future to go fishing for black basses because this water is actually natural water all this this canyons here the mountain what you see here behind this is all volcanic rocks it's quite hot and from the all humidity during the night here because in Fuerteventura it's not really raining a lot over the humidity in the nighttime uh, all the water rinse and goes together into the sweet water depot over here and uh, yes so we tried it and see if by any chance we can do miracles and we do can be fishing for black basses here in Fuerteventura as well and not just in Gran Canaria and in all the other islands. Um, ultralight baits, uh, ultralight reel as well to see by any chance because if even they would reproduce they're gonna be small to see by any chance we have some black basses in Fuerteventura. I would be really glad with the fishing brigade to show you of this possibility uh, what we're having here. I wanted to present you quickly the gear that we're using at the, at the moment there. This is a Yokosuna street and rock fishing. It's an ultra light spinning rod with a cast weight of 3 till 15 grams. It's a Diver Nina 1500. It's with braided line of 015 with a capacity of 2.1 kilo. And the leader is a fluorocarbon 016 with capacity as well from 2 kilos. We're using as you maybe see here, micro jigs today, like in reddish for the basses to see with a flu fluorescent head. And my friend Marcus is gonna try with a spinner blade from the beginning on. So we're gonna head down to the water now and see by any chance we can do, or what we can do, what we can catch, or if by any chance there is nothing in the water anymore. In the video, the water conditions are actually epic. Eh? It's like muddy, there's a lot of wheat as well inside, which at the moment is not till the top of the water, but we know this from the summer over that there is some wheat in this water. So, actually, for the bass, eh? good conditions. So, let's see and give it a try now with this equipment that we show you already. First cast for our babies with our micro jig. By the way, we are using five gram uh, jackets for the start with, or I use them. Okay, and as always, eh, in the most important moment, the camera battery is empty, been empty. No, so far still on the same jig. I'm going back on it now to have a look because so far no bites. We're gonna let it sink down to the bottom and see maybe they are a little bit more at the, at the bottom. And Marcus over there is still drawing the spinner blade, about 15 gram of cast weight. So let's see. I'm gonna change the color in a little bit, and let's let's try it. always in the worst moment is the battery empty of the camera okay at the end I decided that to take another 
similar one that we before, just in a different color, to see by any chance. It's the color makes a difference today. It is what I said before as well. It would be actually be a magic, a miracle if you really would catch something over here because yes, I mean, we released them a year ago and well, if somebody knows it, you can let a comment down below. How fast do black bears reproduce themselves? Because uh, yeah, we sure there was three female and two males when we released them last year. And by any chance, how many do they produce and how long does it take? Uh, the period of reproducing it. It would be super nice if you let some comments down below. I'm still gonna keep it a go with this one a little bit longer. I'm gonna switch to also a bit bigger one and then if not Marcus is already hitting over uh, to the other side of of the, the presa, of the dam and uh, yeah I'm gonna keep here going with some more casts and see. I hopefully I can get something. Okay so switched to uh, Gumi Passage, it's a lure from Germany for a good friend of us. Uh, thank you very much for that one. In a super high, well, UV active one, and uh, also on a five gram head jig head. So, I'm gonna try with this one now to see if by any chance with a bit more action in the water it's gonna help us to catch something today. get this on the video but uh, see just uh, check the water surface as well like it's super strong winds coming in here and of course with this ultra light uh, spinning it's a bit difficult to get good contact into the line to the lure and all that so but again our expectation was not really that high to be honest because again we just released about five or six of those basses last year and uh, yeah I mean the lake is quite big but uh, still we do know that uh, yeah it's difficult conditions here as well because we are guessing as well i don't know in the, behind here in the back there is a goat farm and they probably releasing as well all the urine and all that into this lake over here and uh, it might be that it's very very sour the water as well so we didn't do any test for that so far we hoped and pray and uh, we're gonna have definitely one more challenge as well like it to go over to the other islands to catch some and to bring some more and to see by any chance we have luck and uh, it's gonna happen in one day so we would be able to fish in for Ventura for black bass and uh, we'll hit a little bit higher up over here to see but I still don't want to give up here I mean, we have here the deepest point of uh, uh, this dam, which might maybe it does, because since it's also really cold here, I do guess also they are going to stand the plants. And this was almost the camera, so you realize and see as well, he's standing on a tree pot, how hard those winds are blowing in here, which is really, really not helpful. Yeah, wow, this was, this was closed. Yes, I think I'm gonna have to adjust all that one more time here because with this wind I'm not gonna risk to lose my camera gear. So wow, I almost lost my camera gear uh, by the wind. It's been blowing so hard that I really needed to, let me see, so I really needed to uh, mount it down because it's definitely way too windy here. Yes, we're gonna break up here at this point because there is no no chance at all today it is the wind is getting so strong here i don't know if you can hear it still in the video that there is no point to keep here fishing and losing our time that we don't have we uh, marcus is coming already or oh, he's gonna make a drop shot action here from up there which is not gonna happen but at least he he has fun with it and this is the most important part also for the video uh, it's not always fish. This is fishing. You can fish, you can get fishes a lot, you can get a lot ones, big ones, small ones, all that, or like today, none. But again, our expectation was not that big 
to be honest we just wanted to try to see by any chance uh, a year maybe is not enough time to that they can reproduce them already as well as you see here in the background here is a sort of a small fen which we cannot pass because this is an, a natural habitat for uh, for birds and uh, breeding here and we cannot pass it this is like here as well on the other side over there we do could go around this corner here to give it a go but the problem is that the wind is so strong and as you see the wind is blowing at the moment from this side behind us so it do it does help a little bit that you still have a little bit contact into your line but casting on the other side is going to be most more than impossible so yes mm, even no fishes was a small excursion in the only sweet water place of Fuerteventura. Uh, yes, I hope you guys enjoyed it. So you comment and like the video as well, even without fishes. And you had a little bit of fun, a little bit of entertainment from the fishing brigade from my side, from my part. And uh, we see us in the next episode. Saltwater, saltwater fishing. Uh, also ultralight from rocks and a little bit of spinning medium heavy all right this was fishing brigade from the windiest point probably today on the whole island on the presa of los molinos without any fishes but this is how it goes this is fishing i wish you tight lines and keep fishing and our guide